question. Tabo looks after a flock of goats and sheep. The flock has 55% more sheep than goats. What is the ratio of goats to sheep in the flock? This is but one of the challenging questions tackled by the 6,636 students representing 134 Western Cape schools on the evening of Thursday, 14 April 2011, when they converged on Upper Campus to compete in the annual University of Cape Town Mathematics competition. This competition has built up in reputation over the past 25 years as one of the leading mathematics benchmarks for school-going learners. It started back in 1977 with a couple of local teachers from schools here suddenly got the idea of holding an event uh, with a fun competition which they called a mini maths Olympiad. They held it in Westerford School and were immediately overwhelmed with um, the numbers. The next couple of years it grew and grew and then all of a sudden they couldn't hold it in Westerford one year because Westerford was rebuilding classrooms and halls, so they didn't have space. So we moved it to UCT and it became the UCT competition. But it's still run to a large extent by teachers because we have teachers who set the papers and we have 200 teachers who come here on the night of the competition to run the event. But this mathematics competition is not the type students can really study for. Rather, it is a way of practicing problem-solving methods to think more laterally, or in other words, to think outside the box. I think the important thing about a mathematics competition is that although it looks like a school examination, it isn't, and it's different in many ways. First of all, there's no pass mark. Secondly, you're competing against yourself just as much as against other children. Um, thirdly, School exams are very predictable. All the questions come in a standard format. Every year we try to think up questions which are different, which they've never seen before. Uh, it means we can separate the very high ability kids at the top end. You know in the matric exam, hundreds of students score 100%. So how do you know who's really good at maths? In the maths competition, every year we might get one or two who score 100 percent. The other point of the co competition is that students actually enjoy it. They discover that they can do mathematics, they discover that they like mathematics. Maybe at school they've had a rather boring experience and they discover that mathematics is good, interesting, and then they s realize of course that it opens up many careers. Each grade has its own paper consisting of 30 problems. While the first 10 problems can be dashed off in a few minutes, the next 10 are a little tougher. The final 10 are the real brain bashers. I'm taking part in the UCT math competition because I think it's a great experience and it's going to be on my CV. And it's basically just a really nice experience to meet other schools and interact with people. Uh, the reason why I come to the level of science or physics or wetenschap is that I feel that I am not good enough. I am not good the basic things in the middle school. I am not the uh, fundament of the in the world is not the school. So, when they come to the school, then they are free. And this is why they are here to go to the school, because they stand a better chance to sleep. Being in the competition will help you very much getting into university. Uh, also, yeah, it's very difficult and also a very prestigious event. I think it's important for yourself to see how good you really are in maths and if you can solve all the math problems and you can work on the stuff you can't do. Once again this year's event went very smoothly with the help of an experienced team of teachers. Uh, first of all there is the problems committee who set the papers, that's Chris Murison, Leslie Wheeler, Norval Geldenhuis, Bryony e. Poulter, Charlotte Barnard, Mariola Carova and Tracy Craig, the last two being members of the UCT Department of Mathematics and the engineering faculty. The papers were checked by a number of members of staff in the UCT Mathematics Department. I myself do this. I always ask for the grade A paper because I know I can usually get three quarters of that right. I don't have to persuade this audience 
why or, or that maths is an important skill and that it is a useful skill and that it marks you out if you have mastered uh, the study and uh, performance of mathematics as someone who is uh, unusual, particularly skilled in abstract thinking, in spatial thinking, in logical thinking, in deductive reasoning, even in lateral thinking, because quite often uh, getting to a solution in a maths problem is not about a step-by-step -step deductive logic, but thinking outside of the box, trying to figure out other ways of solving a problem which you haven't seen before. And these are all qualities which will serve you in many careers, serve you well, prepare you for all sorts of um, further qualifications, further careers, and often for leadership positions, uh, because it is indeed the fact that, that people who uh, enjoy ideas, enjoy intellectual activity, are able to provide the intellectual leadership that our society and professions need. At the prize giving on June 2nd, Gold Awards and Casio Calculators were presented to the top individuals and top pairs in each grade. Book prizes were awarded by Oxford University Press, while Merit Awards were presented for the next level of achievement, and every contestant received a certificate of participation. Sean Wenzel, the top participant in the University of Cape Town's Mathematic competition, has achieved perfect scores since he first began participating as a grade 8 learner in 2007. This makes him the first participant to achieve an unbroken record in the 35-year history of the competition. I wonder if I could ask Ashraf to uh, step up here again. Thanks, Ashraf. Ashraf was second to Sean in grade 8, and in grade 10, and in grade 12. And he tied with Sean in grades 9 and 11. <laughs> Ashraf and Sean are the only two of the present top 10 who have been in the top 10 every year for the last five years. A remarkable achievement. Well done. I'm obviously very proud. Um, it's, it's a lot of pressure off me now. i definitely going to uni, probably UCT, and I'm probably going to study maths and computer science. In terms of going on to do university work, or in particular to ca carry on and do mathematics at, at university, the maths competition has two important influences. First of all, if you've been a student who every year has been in the top 10 of the maths competition. The science faculty of the university and the engineering faculty takes note of this. And when it comes to offering entrance scholarships, such students will invariably get quite a nice scholarship. The award for top goal participant went to Khadija Bray of Weinberg Girls High School, who came second overall in the grade 11 division. So, um, Khadija's done very well, so that's obviously got us on the map. Um, I think a lot of them realise that there are opportunities, especially for girls, young women these days in maths and sciences and so on. People want to put money into them studying and they realise that and they're going for it themselves. And um, yeah, a bit of encouragement from outside, but most comes from them. Gold awards are presented to the top 10 places in each grade. And a school prize is given to the top pupil in a school that entered at least 10 individuals but did not receive a gold award. A total of 28 schools won gold awards in 2011, and 77 other schools qualified for school prizes. Three quarters of the schools that took place in the competition this year were represented by prize winners. By the way, we have a follow-up event where we invite the top kids from the competition to come up a few weeks later to write what we call the UCT Invitational Challenge. They come because they enjoy the opportunity the challenge of competing against each other to write a maths paper. Of course, these geeks, they're geeks at school. When they come here, they realize there are lots of other geeks like them, which is good, but they're not, no longer the best, necessarily, which is also good. They suddenly realize, I can do better. It's easy to come top in maths at school, but if I, I can do better, what we're out to do, we're trying to prove that maths is fun. Maths has a 
to improve the popular image of maths. Uh, as I said, many people, when you, they hear one does mathematics, they say, oh, I couldn't do that at school. What, you know, I hated it at school. Another noteworthy achievement of our Western Cape young mathematicians is their excellent record in the International Mathematics Olympiad. This year the event will be held in the Netherlands and a team of six will represent South Africa. Of that team, four are from the Western Cape. Of the medals that South Africa has won in that event, more than half have been won by Cape Town students. Now the reason is simple, that we've been able to identify their ability um, early on and then offer them training opportunities. It's not that Cape Town kids are brighter than kids in Johannesburg. It's not that the sea air is healthier or that Table Mountain has a major influence. It's an event like the maths competition which picks them up in grade 8. It's like picking up uh, somebody for athletics very early on and you've then got the opportunity to train them to take part in the Olympic Games.